While we're in the shop here, guys, here's the camper. And today, Stormy and I, say hi, Stormy. Stay, stay there, stay there. That a good dog. Today, Stormy and I are going to start a project. And what is that project? Three hundred and twenty amps of lithium. Three hundred and twenty amps of lithium. So this is just a, uh, a Chinese battery from uh, Amazon. Um, basically, that's where all these cells come from, anyways. So, anyways, I'm going to do unboxing, um, and then what I'm going to do, guys, is um, they come with their own little charger. So I'm going to. Uh, there's two chargers in here. But I'm just going to take the one charger and put it on the battery for 24 hours. I'm going to take the same charger, put it on this battery for 24 hours, make sure the voltages are, are as close as possible. Then I'm actually going to hook them up together. And then that way they'll equalize um, between themselves and before I install them in the camper. I got a lot of work to do in the camper, so this is actually where my batteries sit right now. So there's two. Um, lead acid batteries in there, deep cycle batteries, and they're in this little plastic compartment. So on the inside, what I did, oh, I guess I gotta, I should turn some lights on in there. I didn't turn some lights on. I'm gonna turn some lights on now because pretty soon I won't have any lights. So this is my uh, hanging closet in the back of the, uh, the camper here. And what I did is, this was actually closed right across, okay? This, this, wasn't, this hole wasn't here. I ordered the same door that's in the upper um, sleeping area, and I actually cut this, and I actually put this door in to access the new battery compartment. So I'm gonna take this tub out, and this comes off like this. And that's the area where I'm gonna put my two the two batteries, uh, the charge controller, the solar charge controller, and some other pieces you'll see when I'm, uh, when I'm working on it. So anyways, today is the day to get um, that unit out. So anyways guys, we'll do the unboxing here. All right, let's open up one of these bad boys. Better put her on the ground. All right. Assuming this is the charger, one charger. All right, whoops. Okay, that didn't work out so well. How about you grab the straps there, Jage? Woo, this is a big boy. All right, let's get her up on the table. All right. So there she is right there. It's made by Scream Power Lithium Battery. And as you can see, she's 12 volts and 320 amp hour. Okay, what do we got here? The battery is 21 inches long by nine, and it just looks like a little bit more, so we're gonna go nine and a quarter now to the top of the posts, she looks like she's almost 10 inches. So these are the specs here on the battery. So there's the battery there. So there's 320 is right there. So it's, it says the charge voltage is 14.6. The maximum charge that I can put on this is 160 amps. So um, my uh, 3000 watt inverter um, can charge up to a maximum of 90 amps. So that's 160 amps per battery. And these will be both put in parallel, obviously, to keep it at 12 volts. So each battery can discharge at 320 amps, a max of 340 amps for five seconds. Maximum continuous output power is 4,096 watts. The recommended, they say, the recommended is 2,048 watts that uh, you can actually discharge this battery. Now, 
Again, like I said, there'll be two of them supporting that. So basically you're gonna double up your load. Voltage stays the same, current gets doubled. Whoops. Doop. How heavy is it? I don't know, 70 pounds? I don't know if it says it right in the manual here or not. The page I was on there, so that was the whole specs of the battery, why they didn't, uh, like they, they write down all the other batteries, like the 12 volt at 40 amp hours. They write all that, why wouldn't they write down over here? Wait, don't know. All right guys, so then I got, this is the other battery, so I got two of these bad boys. So like I said before, what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna take just the one charger, so that way they're both taking the same charger in case one's off a little bit. I'm gonna plug it in, leave it plugged in for, well, whatever until this green light goes on the, the charger here. And then I will take it off and do it to the next battery. And then I'm gonna hook them both up parallel with each other so they'll balance each other out. So um, Jared has a big set of uh, jumper cables. So I'm just gonna put black on negative and take the other black and put it on the negative of this battery, positive and positive, right? So we're just gonna bounce them off and just leave them for 24 hours. That way both batteries will read the exact voltage before I actually hook them up to my system. And then that way they're both starting off equally. So that's the plan. So I'll just slap this on here like this. I don't know how long this is gonna take to charge. Actually what I wanna do first, before I do that, I wanna just get a voltage reading. Right, Storm? Stormy knows. She knows all about this stuff. Okay. Okay, we got a reading of 12.03, so pretty well dead. So anyways, like I said, I'll put them on the, uh, the charger here. And what I'm just gonna do right now, I'm just gonna do this because I'm just recording right now. Yeah, okay, I assume so. So there's a little red light there on the charger. But what I'm gonna do is uh, just so it's uh, easier and I'm, like, I'm out in the shop here so I can't do it out here. I'm gonna take both these into the lunchroom and uh, put them off to the side where they're not gonna be in anybody's way because the guys do work up here. And then I'll put the charger on and see what happens and, and all that kind of stuff. But, and so I'll let you know how long it takes. Anyways, this is strictly for demonstration purposes. Just to recap, um, charger on till charged. Take the charger, put it on this battery till charged. Then uh, installing the negative to negative, positive to positive, so they'll balance each other out and then uh, they'll be ready to go in the camper. So I got a lot of work to do inside here. I'm gonna get rid of my batteries out of there. Um, take my stuff that's in here and put it in the fridge because uh, even though my fridge right now is on gas, um, it still takes 12 volts to run and I'm obviously taking the batteries out so I'm not gonna have any 12 volts in this camper at all. So for the next, well, until I get this all hooked up, I won't have anything running in here. And because also, I have a 3,000 watt bypass inverter installed in here. So I can't even plug it in because I got to supply 12 volts to that um, inverter. Even though it's, it's going to be running on 120 volts, the controls and everything on the inverter still needs 12 volts. So yeah, I'll just put everything in the uh, shop fridge in here and uh, get at her. So here's the, uh, the two batteries I just took out. Um, so these are lead acid batteries. The rating though is 130 amp. So although there's two of them, you can only use a lead acid battery at 50%. So even though there's two, I can actually only use 130 amps. And uh, or else if you, go, if you take a lead acid battery down more than 50%, uh, it will take no time at all to start killing this battery. So uh, we're going to go from 130 amps of usable current from one of these batteries. Well, I shouldn't say one of them, sorry, for both of them put them together, you can only use 50%, so it's still only 130, to what did that manual say? <clears throat> in a lithium battery, I mean, don't get me wrong, 
it, it's almost 100% usable power that these things give off, but you definitely don't want to be taking your battery to zero every single day, but um, 320 amps, so 640 amps of usable power compared to 130. So that's going to be quite the upgrade. I'll never ever, like I don't plan on using that much power, that's for sure, but yeah, so I don't plan on using that much power, but there you go, that's the difference. Weight-wise, I mean, lead-acid batteries are not light to begin with. I mean, obviously, that battery is going to be heavier, but, whew, let's do a technical. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So you don't get any more technical than this. We're gonna call that pretty well balanced. Bill Nye, the science guy, would just give this 100%. So, I don't have scales out here, guys. This is as close as you're gonna get. So let's put this big boy on first. Try not to move it around too much. There we go. And put this guy on this end. So obviously, Honestly, guys, if I'm pushing more than two pounds, I'll be surprised. So here's, here's uh, Jared's 3 8 impact wrench. One of the lead acids, uh, 3 8 impact, and the battery was enough, to, uh, was enough to lift that battery. So is it heavier? It's obviously a little bit heavier, but look at, look at what you're gaining here. So there you go. So we're, we're going to talk about one battery here because there's only one on each side. So that's 320 amp hours, like usable amps because it's a lithium, compared to half of one of these batteries because you can only use 50% on lead acid. And they're 130s, so that's 65. So you can only use 65 amps compared to 320 amps for an extra, let's even give it 10 pounds difference. Yeah. No brainer. All right. I hope uh, you guys realize how, uh, how long this took me to set up here. This is pretty technical stuff here for me, so. So this is, going, this is just a quick layout here. Um, there's nothing bolted down here, okay? So these are just all sitting here. But this is approximately what it's gonna look like. So this is basically the brains of the whole unit right there. So this unit right here is a uh, MPPT solar charge controller. So this is my solar panels, 400 watts comes into this. Um, so this is the breaker here that's, that'll disconnect the solar panels that are up on the roof from this unit. Then I'll come off this unit where it says battery there to a 30 amp breaker. And then on the other side, there'll be a bus bar going across here and, and, and uh, joining this into my distribution again, right? Because there's spots for fuses in here. Um, like I said, this is just sitting here. So there's the, uh, this will be where the negative from my batteries show up. And this is called a shunt. So then the information, what this reads will now go over also to this. And there's a screen, I'm gonna mount a screen, that is right there, uh, inside the camper. And it'll tell me basically everything I wanna know about my system. It'll tell me the solar panel, how much wattage they're producing. It'll tell me how much charge I'm getting on my batteries. It'll tell me the condition of my batteries, whether they're at 80%, 90%. It'll tell me what my loads are. So if I'm also using this to power up something, it's gonna tell me how much I'm pulling off my batteries. So just from bang, I just look at it, I know exactly what's going on. There's also, there's also Bluetooth. So there's an, there, uh, I have an app already because I've already had this MPPT for probably, a, well, a year now. 
And uh, so on the Bluetooth app, it tells me everything also. So I can either look on the screen or I could be, you know, from here to, you know, I, I've been away 300 feet from my camp and I still could tell what's going on in, with all my batteries. So, so anyways, there's that solid bus bar, guys, that I decided to use to hook up. I think it looks good. Um, like I said, if you can use solid bus bar, that is by far the best. So there's a, a piece of solid bus bar. So then this side here will go down to the batteries, the negative. My positive will go to the one side here of my master disconnect here, which will shut the power off to the entire system. And so coming off my 12 volt distribution, I got a 300 amp fuse here to another disconnect, which will go down to this power block, which will then feed my inverter. Like I said, I wanted to have full control to be able to turn my inverter off and on yet leave the system going. And then these other, these smaller ones up here, guys, these are for, well, I'm gonna have one coming off for my uh, solar panels. There's gonna be one that goes to the fridge. Um, that's 300 amp, I'm not gonna be using that. Uh, my happy jacks. So, and I'm gonna also, also, there's another 30 amp there. I'm gonna actually order a 12 volt distribution off Amazon, I haven't done it yet, and it's gonna sit here. So they'll have small fuses in it. I wasn't, I was kind of debating whether I wanted to do it or not, but I'm thinking, you know what, I might as well put a light in this cabinet that you can turn off and on. Um, this, this unit itself, it needs 12 volts. So I'm thinking, well, I might as well just get a little distribution. They're not that expensive. Um, and then just put fuses in there, like a five amp fuse to, to feed this. And you know, like a 30 amp to go to the distribution blocks because I'm not really going to have a whole lot coming off it. Like I said, there won't be any charging or anything because it's in this back corner, but I'll be able to put a light and who knows down the road, right? It, and then it's there, it's done. So yeah, that's it so far. This might be a carry on. So just in case guys, I do have enough there to do one video. I'll, uh, I'll sign off for now and uh, we'll probably carry on later. So for now guys, be good, be kind, be careful. And I'm gonna talk to you real soon. Bye bye.